Shalom everyone, I hope that you are doing absolutely fantastic. Today is the 24th of December. Happy birthday to you if it's your birthday and happy anniversary to y'all too. I hope it's fantastic for you all and everybody, but especially those who are having a special day today. If it's a memorial of anything sad, I send you love and light right now energetically and I just ask that the Holy Spirit would come and put his arms around you and comfort you because he surely will. <clears throat> So we're going to uh, recap on some things that came out on the Cardinal Fixed Immutable Sun readings as we do on our daily readings. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump in here. Now, if you are returning, welcome back. If you're brand new, listen, I'm just very spiritual, okay? I could come across real heavy churchy and religious, but I'm real heavy not. Uh, some things aren't always as they seem. Uh, you know, Jehovah Elohim is my Yeshua, my salvation, my prophecy. Uh, I'm not ashamed of him. I know he is everything and he is the only uh, one who leads the way and is truthful every single day on this channel. Okay, so if you don't if you don't want to experience um uh, real hardcore sobering truth or you're timid or you're prejudiced or you're just nasty at your heart you don't want change come up higher and learn new things and expand then I'm not gonna be your channel okay I get really bold and Jehovah allows me to feel the energy at times and it's real hard on me and like I say to my audience sometimes I'm sure it's really hard to hear as well um, but uh, my channel is different from any probably uh, any kind of other tarot card reading channel that you've ever experienced and so uh just uh, know that i'm just me i'm not trying to be anything except yielded to the holy spirit which comes from jehovah all right so in a nutshell that's who i am welcome if you stay if not then this is where you'll click off and thanks for checking me out all right, people, let's get started here. Jehovah, I just appreciate you so much. I thank you for the boldness that you give your people to walk uprightly and be peculiar in the land. I just invite your presence here, and I thank you uh, that you are truly expanding uh, the way we think and coming up higher by your true light and that we can detect the false light. Uh, that is out there and you give us authority through Yeshua to command uh, the darkness to flee from you and I just thank you um, for insight today what we need to know and what we need to continue in or bypass or just to be aware of and uh, I just appreciate you you hope just rebuke and bind and block every foul demonic wicked dark energy right here right now command it to go straight down to the pit of hell where it belongs all right, guys, um, and be patient with me. I've been up for quite some time just kind of meditating and, and uh, you know, doing a little bit of study this morning with you, Hova, but my brain's trying to kick in. <laughs> so I'm still having my coffee, so just be patient with me. So overall energy today, we had the garden, which is, again, you know, uh, groups and things like that we know that the holidays are here and people are traveling and stuff like that we had the child in okay, case so we got children and things and obviously we've talked about people need to pay attention to their kids and and uh, secrets and things like that that's around uh, some people we had fugitive energy um, that was really big yesterday on the reading we have the death card that has been here and death hell and the grave really don't have any hold on us when we're walking in the truth it just it just has no hold on us people but those people still exist in the earth and uh, you still have to use wisdom when you are um, operating in your day right we have the star and this goes back to um, exposure. It's also healing and things are guided regardless of what might be secret around you. We have the village that came out, which is uh, pertaining to a community that is outside the city walls, but they're covered with some type of protection there. There's secret stuff here. We know that the, the negative side of this um, death card is the occultic type of energy, but something's exposed here and we know about it. We have a judgment today. 
uh, from Yehovah. Remember, we have judgments uh, that he spoke yesterday for the next three days, which we'll, you know, we'll see what after on the 26th what he has to say to us. But there's a judgment today. It's already been made, and uh, so people are going to be experiencing something that Yehovah is, um, you know, putting a judgment on for dark and nasty energy for some people, and for some people it's going to bring healing and hope, and something's very much guided. Uh, so we've got uh, rainbow energy here. Something of color is here. Um, this is the rain, right, with the letter Mem. If you are new, I use the Hebraic Living Language, and we take phonics. We take anything that the Spirit wants to bring out expressively. And so if something is natural for you, it might be spiritual or mental or emotional for somebody else. So if I'm pertaining to it in one way, but really you're experiencing it another way, you need to open your... Um, your um, your mind up to understand that something you know you might say well none of this pertains to me but actually it is playing around you because it's true in any form that it can be manifested as I always teach but anyway just felt like I need to say that because I am giving letters out here in the living language that still lives today. So we have the M and the P, the PM, and we have the night energy in the darkest house of the zodiac. Uh, anyway, but we've got the, the mem meaning the flood, right? And it's a fire flood this time around. And we've got the rainbow that came out with it, which gives a promise and a covenant to you and I uh, who walk upright because we're in our boat, right? We, we pitched our boat and we're not going to get burned. We're going to go through the fire and we're not going to smell like the flames and the smoke we have somebody from high school or college here today that is uh, prevalent within your situation and mine all right let's get into it people we had the uh, strength card that came out and this is you know remember you always said he was going to bully the bull right and so some some people are getting it they're getting judged here and this is about having compassion as well we also had here comes the sword today okay so obviously you know I have another deck card that talks about the strength card uh, meaning that you need to release harsh judgments okay uh, if you didn't do that, then here comes the sword. There's a warning on this card because Jehovah is making a judgment today. What's hidden was the snake. That's right. We had some really nasty energies that was coming around. So people need to use their intuition, tap into the Holy Spirit, and be led forth by your peace. And uh, pay attention. We have seduction energy here with the snake. And um, this opens a door to sin, okay, when you are tempted by it, okay? And this is interesting. Actually, this has come out because I was studying this morning about this uh, very thing. Actually, let me just uh, read my notes here about what came out. Give me just a second here. Um, where did I put it at? Well, I guess I can't find it. Give me just a second. Okay, I was actually doing some study this morning uh, as I was uh, sitting with Jehovah and uh, began to um, look at the curse. Now, I've gotten on my channel before and spoke about how um, sin lies at the door and things like that. And we know we can find that in the book of Genesis. Uh, and the snake is there when, you know, the fall of man happened and things like that in the garden. Uh, but sin, you know, the, 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 this energy here of seduction to, to take something that you're being tempted with. Here comes a sword if you do that. Somebody's going to have to have some strength today because something's hidden or temptations around a situation. Sin introduces a curse. Understand? And then you're going to have... then. You're going to have to rule over that thing when it comes and you take it over uh, the, uh, you're going to have to take over uh, the thing that came and fight it with all you have. And that's why some people are getting judged because they just, they just give it into this crap. There's hypocrisy here today that's hidden. There's jealousy that's hidden. Look, if you're tempted with jealousy, you're going to open a door to a curse for you. You're going to have to have some strength here about yourself, okay? Anyway, we have a ruler, and the, so, okay, well, great. Well, this is what it states here in Scripture. You got to rule over it. You give into it, these tricks, these betrayals, whatever you're thinking in your mind, or 
what if the lies or somebody's talking to you I and mean, we got we got death energy here people it says death lies at the door okay the hit is like a door energy so it really is here people it really is I didn't even notice this was here we had the uh, a, a ruler and a domain or a punishment uh, from a ruler here um, that's showing up we had the king of cups Okay, this is a, a ruler then, so it's a king here. This could be somebody secret around you. We had the um, lady that's here that's hidden. What did I do? What am I missing here? Oh, that's right. The strength card came out on, on um, I think it was the mutable and the fixed sign, or it was the cardinal and the fixed. So it came out twice for this day. We have a whirlwind energy, and we also have a bear that's hidden. All right, well, that goes back to business, and we have a ruler or, a, or a, a somebody who's like an officer. If this is FBI, then we got it right here, and we got a whirlwind energy, which would go back to the will, and uh, that's also legal things that are taking place. I mean, we got a judgment going on, so if you are a judge or something like that because somebody is, you know, uh, doing something where you know tricks and betrayal has happened and temptation and, and manipulation then there you go it's here um, what my brain really needs to kick in this morning so the bear has a fish in its mouth and so we definitely have money we have secret money secret sex secret prophecy secret uh, property things that have gone on I want to read here uh, some other energies that came out with so we have the letter M we have the letter P we have the letter H remember yesterday we went over um, these letters and um, Jehovah brought out chemicals with this stuff and uh, we had cleaning energies or cleaners were here traveling is here okay we have um let's see we had a fat mouth energy that came out yesterday we have um so a person who's been elected uh to represent the people so um we have a parliament energy that is here and we've got a whirlwind though going on and here comes the sword and a judgment and it's pertaining to a village or some type of a group your children are here immature behavior we have or somebody's in the spotlight something's been hidden around you with somebody you went to college with or this is you or school or something like that uh, we have a lot of energy showing up there was a melting point here with some of this uh, combination that came out Remember, we also had candy type energy and blemishes going on. Teenager energy was here. Uh, somebody uh, peeping into something. We also had, uh, you know, we have secret sexual things and your children are here. And uh, so remember, we had surrounding on the inside of the hole, but we also had a scream going on. So, you know, somebody is being charged and judged for some, some type of uh molestation of something we live in the real world that I send you love and light okay so we, we do have that kind of energy here and you know sometimes people are going to use little candy for kids to lure them in and it causes nothing but a freaking ruckus people better be careful because here comes a sword you think you're going to do that to someone it ain't going to work out for you we have the H uh, and the the het and the mem together goes back to hot stuff heat it's making reference to cheese or to separate something here or to separate by water um so if you're boiling things uh today just be careful because we do have food and chemical stuff that's been sprayed like we brought out the pam right and i'm not saying anything about that company but just for general purposes just be careful when you're cooking and you're heating things and stuff like that your children are around uh, Jehovah's just allowing us to know that we need to pay close attention okay there's whirlwind type energies around uh, situations so maybe you are dealing with somebody who likes to eat cheese I'm not sure we have um, the color of wood when it's burned people got their um, fireplaces going on and things like that we also have an energy here of a cover 
uh, the word is innocent. Well, we have children here, and they are innocent. And we also have a, a wall, though, that is opened. But if it's got some type of a cover over it or something like that, there could be things uh, beyond the cover of that thing. Uh, or somebody's just trying to cover something up. The King of Cups represents somebody who holds things way down, right? Uh, so that energy is here. Um, there is a protection, though, energy here. So that's positive if you and I do our part today. We also have a word out here, and I thought this was really uh, interesting, given that the snake is out here because it strikes, right? And the word actually with the... Um, uh, mem, oh, excuse me. Yeah, the mem and the chet is strike. That's interesting. We also have the marrow of the bone out here as well. Um, so, whatever that means for you, if you're dealing with bone issues or you just need to be careful, somebody, you know, this is about stumbling. And somebody stumbles and really hurts themselves. Jehovah's just telling you to be careful um, because there's energy. If you're in the negative and you've already had your time to uh, your space to, to make something right and you did it, then you're going to end up having to rule over something today, people. Because that is the word of the divine. If you're going to give into temptation, you're going to open a door to something. Here comes a sword. Here comes some type of a judgment and punishment for some type of situation spiritually. And it's going to cause a whirlwind. Okay, that's why we look at this kind of stuff. So we can be aware and we can teach our children and our next generation. Okay, so anyway, this is the energy that's coming out here. Remember uh, to uh, pay attention to people that you're allowing in your house because we do have money in, in the bear's mouth. Okay, uh, this goes back to business and stuff like that. Did you guys do your inventory yesterday? Hopefully you did. Spiritually, emotionally, physically, on your businesses. And obviously, somebody could be getting punished for something uh, because there's some snakish energy. There's a, a person that's hidden uh, around you. Maybe it's somebody from your high school. No, I'm not sure. Maybe it's this King of Cups. Maybe it's the law. Something secret sexually around something. We've got children out here, so you need to really pay attention. Thank you, Yehovah, for allowing us to know something before it happens. Because no weapon formed against your people shall prosper. You could be hidden around somebody today to bring a protection as well. And so we should actually help one another that way. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. And this goes back to family and things like that. And there's babies right there in, in somebody's arms. And there's lots of money with this card. Um, commitments are here. What else do you want to bring out here for today, you hold us? Uh, we have the Three of Swords. And we have the Death again. Okay, so what's really coming out here, and we know that the M&M &M represents um, uh, candy, if we just want to say, you know, candy, because it does um, in our little world, <laughs> but it's also a blemish, and so we got chilled teenagers and things like that going on with blemishes, and um, just people that are that are stained with things. I mean, we got the three of swords. We got heartache here. Here comes the sword. Somebody get punished today. Somebody's needing some type of a, a compassion. Uh, here comes the bull, people. Jehovah's already spoken his word, and it ain't going to return to him void. If you're just in the negative, and you just didn't give a rip, and you've been secretive, and you're just a, a trick, here comes your punishment. And there's a whirlwind for you people, okay? Uh, we're going to sit back and uh, see with our eyes and hear things about our enemies that have literally put pressure on good people. It's time for them to be judged. So anyway, we got big, deep secrets here, but yet they're known. Big time occultic stuff here, but yet they're known. They're exposed. Um... So heartache is here. Third parties are here. If you give in to the temptation, you're screwed, people. You really are. Give me a couple more, please, Jehovah. You could be dealing with somebody who likes to go without their shirt. A lot. This this death card has somebody who doesn't have a shirt on. 
is if you're dealing with somebody, most of the time they just go out without their shirt, or that could be you that's being taken advantage of, or something like that. We have the King of Rods that came out, and this is um, the other man for some of you all. We have a hidden person here, and the King of Cups will hide something as well. Uh, we've got jealousy really big with the bear, so somebody better be careful. You're trying to be secretive around somebody as a third party. Uh, this bear going to come out and maul you because there's a whirlwind. So, you know, there's a sword here for you, whatever you think you are. Uh, the king of rods will get up, and also if he's in the upright, he'll be spiritual. And he'll be able to detect that, and he'll get up and take action against you if he's in the upright. And this king of rods is, is the player guy in the negative so you think you're going to do something around children or uh around somebody else's spouse or something like that you better be careful we also have the four swords that came out so seven swords are here that's a deception well we have it right here with the snake there's a strike today there's a strike um so we have the star twice as well something that will be very much exposed in a very big way Okay, the Ace of Pentacles is at the bottom of this deck, which the Ten of Pentacles breaks down to that Ace. That's 11 Pentacles. That's large sums of money. So you're dealing with secret money. Okay, in a very large way, somebody will be very much exposed today for something that they've done. You'll hope that you, you, you just pick it through my hands. Okay, I got two coming. We got the Butler or the Maid that just came out here. Uh, we also have your son or your son-in-law. And so you're either a son or a son-in-law that's getting uh, judged or somebody's doing something towards you. However, this only you know who you are. People only you know who you are. But there's deep secrets. But at the same time, like I said, something's going to be, whoa, it's going to be so exposed. Okay? Uh, we have, Jehovah says, game over. Yeah, because a judgment is here today. Look, somebody's taking something very physical. There's a message here as well. And somebody's been fishing for messages in a very physical way. But we've had somebody burying something, maybe, or whatever it is, something of value is here. Okay? Or some type of contract or document or something physical um, is here. Okay? There's also pregnancy situations with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay? So, anyway, you always says game over. So, if you think your game's um, being played, they ain't ever going to be known. Well, here comes the sword. There's there's some type of uh, a real big exposure today, people. And for those of you who are in the upright, there's great big healing and something is majorly um, guided for us today on this judgment, okay? And uh, it says positive. If you are in the upright, it looks good for us people. It says Jehovah is sending a true friend to you. You know, well, some people have been so oppressed by some stupidness. Uh, something at a gas station, so make sure that you're aware. And we do have traveling stuff here. We have the wheel, okay? Uh, judgment for sex with their uncle is here as well. Well, it's huge, people. This huge energy that's coming out here. Um, let me take an Elohim card, and I'm just going to call it a reading. Okay, these, these want to come out. So, Angel of Guidance is here. Well, we do have guidance with the stars, one of the uh, meanings of it. And it says, uh, a renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. And yeah, you're going to know about it real huge today. We also have protection here. And uh, listen, got to pay attention to what you're thinking today. You and I are powerful beings, and we need to keep our mind upon the divine, okay? And so with that, because we can create whatever we're thinking, a lot of people are operating by fear, and they've caused their very fear to come upon them. They've given in to some things. They've been pressured and everything else. And so the scripture says that whatever, you know, if you're in fear, because we have nighttime stuff here, uh, it will come upon you. And that's why a lot of people wouldn't overcome it with goodness and they're finding themselves in some nasty stuff but there is protection here for you and I in the upright we keep our mind on the truth um, this is uh, the angel of expression is here to speak your truth and express yourself clearly alright well 
Absolutely, because there's secrets here. You see something today, people, or you're being tempted in any kind of way. You take the sword out. Remember, we're told to draw the sword not out without a cause, nor return it without honor. And somebody is uh, coming to you to seduce you, and you're getting some type of feeling on the inside, or there's some type of jealousy you need to push down and say, no, I'm not going to give in to that, or there's some type of betrayal. You better pull that sword out with honor and give a what for about it. Don't you let these people do anything secret around you, whatever the butler or the maid, or you're the butler or the maid, somebody's trying to take advantage of you, possibly. Okay, maybe you're... you're, you're um, your bosses, I don't know, maybe the boss is the, the one that you are trying to take advantage of. Only you know who you are. But people, the sword is here today, and there is a freaking whirlwind here, and there are big secrets, but there's also something very much expo exposure, exposure, uh, wherever else, the exposure right there, okay? Something very much going to be known, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be huge, and we've got uh, police officers on something that's already been... Uh, being investigated. There's a game over today. And so if you're playing games with somebody and you're in the negative, you really are in big trouble because you your 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 reputation is um at the door waiting to be opened and uh exposed for all to see what you've done because Jehovah is bullying the bully. Okay? So whatever you found yourself doing, better get ready because here comes the sword. Shalom.